Now, as the nation prepares for what is touted as the mother of all protests in the country, youth groups in the country have converged on Abuja, the federal capital territory, in preparation for the nationwide action. The youth groups also unequivocally stated reasons and demands for the planned protests at the press conference. Now, their demands include a call for the in increase of the recently proposed minimum wage from 70,000 to 250,000 naira, as well as a parallel wage package for appointed and elective officers. They also demanded a taxation system that will take in consideration the wealth gap between the rich and the poor, and a loan system that designed or is designed to make students debtors. The new 70,000 naira is grossly insufficient uh, to live above the extreme poverty line. In September 2022, the World Bank pegged the global poverty line to $2.15 per day. Based on the present exchange, that means about 30,000 naira per day for the extreme poverty line. So, consequently, 70,000 naira minimum wage is far below and your soul is below the, the poverty line. We demand a living wage for the Nigerian workers. On the basis of the present inflation crisis, the minimum wage should not be below 250,000 naira. The first step should be that all political office holders, both elected and appointed, must be placed on the same salary structure, salary scheme with Nigerian workers. We are demanding that fair price and electricity tariff to be returned back to the price it was uh, before May 29, 2023. A tax system, a system that will take into account the inequality and wealth gap between the rich and the poor. The Tinubu government announced the student loan scheme, which we have expressed that this scheme itself is nothing but an attempt to turn Nigerian students into debtors. And we said clearly that the, that the Nigerian state has enough resources to ensure that Nigerians get education that is quality, affordable, and free. We are demanding for immediate reversal of all school fees that have been increased within the last uh, one year. The aim of this protest is to address the hardship and hunger in Nigeria presently. But adding to that hunger and hardship is also an housing crisis in Abuja, where people have to, with, with six times of your salary, you will still be living far away at the outskirts of the town. The security uh, threats that the government has been giving us, we hear it very loud and clear. We are not leaders of the protest. We are mobilizers of the protest. Just like answers, our protest is the protest of the masses. No leaders are going to be picked up. No leaders are going to be um, uh, coerced and manipulated to relinquish. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.